Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our Mental Health Talk. This event is presented by Property Access Philippines and co-presented by Mental Health Matters. And I am Yvette. I'll be one of the hosts for today. Ayan, maayong hapon po, Sir Orlando. Ayan, we have viewers from all over the Philippines, and we are very happy that you're joining us this afternoon. And... Uh, Uh, with me this afternoon is my colleague Jelly, and she will be introducing our very esteemed speaker for today. Yes, good afternoon everybody. I hope everybody's having a good time. While we have time, please do invite your friends and family to this Zoom webinar. This is absolutely free and you can help them learn more about mental health. And today is also World Mental Health Day for everybody here. So this is a day to celebrate and commemorate everything that uh, our scientists and professionals have gone through, um, all the improvements they've gone so that we can reach mental health awareness throughout the Philippines. So today, um, we have a very special speaker to talk about this very topic. Our speaker this evening is a graduate of BS Pre-Med from the University of the Philippines, Baguio. He pursued a career in computer programming after being offered scholarship at the Institute of Advanced Computer Technology. He joined Philippine Airlines, or PAL, in 1986 and graduated as class president and valedictorian. In 1987, he became an international steward. In 1993, He was recruited by PAL to join their management team to help develop their computer system and was also tasked to recruit, train, manage the flying career of stewards and stewardesses. He was part of the elite flight crew who flew with the world's presidents, prime ministers, and other VIPs, including President Estrada, President Fidel V. Ramos, and the newly canonized St. John Paul II. In 1998, after flying around the world for 12 years, he resigned from the airlines and decided to return to his favorite city, Baguio. His first business venture was Computer Tots, a computer school for children. In 2000, he took over ownership and management of Burnham Hotel and Cook's Inn Restaurant. He then set up Forest House Bistro and Cafe, which was awarded by the prestigious Asian Tatler as one of the Philippines' best restaurants. The only restaurant in Baguio to be awarded this distinction for 12 years and is widely considered as Baguio's premier restaurant. In 2005, he helped set up the family-owned Subic Park Hotel, Inc., a 40-bedroom resort and the cabin a 20-room budget hotel in both Subic, Olongapo, and is currently the president of the corporation. He set up Fitness Edge Health and Fitness Club in SM in 2006 and is currently the managing consultant. He is also the president of the family-owned Novolodge, Inc., a 60-room hotel in Marcus Highway, Baguio City. In 2011, he put up the warm, homey and cozy Forest House Boutique Hotel. His latest business venture is the revival of Forest House as an outdoor dining restaurant in collaboration with Venus Garden. He was the host of the TV program, A Slice of Life with Manong Ari on Sky Cable Baguio and is a well sought after motivational speaker on self-development, positive attitude and goal setting. He is one of a handful of the certified mentors for the government program, Go Negosyo Mentor Me program, a qualified speaker for the Department of Tourism and Commission and Audit, and a leading advocate and speaker of mental health awareness for the last nine years. On his free time, he does web development, search engine optimization, and social media management. He is a father of five and a husband to one. Manong Ari! Magandang hapon sa inyo lahat. Uh, Jelly, thank you so much for that introduction. And uh, good afternoon to you and to uh, who else? Yvette, uh, good afternoon. Uh, Yvette, where are you uh, broadcasting from? Hi, Manong. Good afternoon. I'm broadcasting very live from Las Piñas City. Las 
Pina. So how how's the weather there, Ivet? Okay naman, medyo makulimlim lang ng konti. Sana hindi matuloy ang ulan at hindi maputo lang ating mga connection. May bagyo tang yan, if not mistaken. Jelly, where are you from? Where are you broadcasting from? Yes, broadcasting from the gig city. Okay naman ang aming weather dito. Good weather there. Dito well dito, makulimlim and uh but well, in spite of uh, this weather, let's not let this uh weather get to us. Mm-hmm. Now, we have a lot of participants joining us uh, this afternoon. Magpakita naman kayo. I want to see you guys. Guys, please turn on your videos. What's the use of good looks if I can't see you? So everybody, video on, please. Ayan, so mga Come on, participants. Oh, video on, please. <laughs> Don't be shy, guys. Yeah. Who else is here? Come on. Pakita naman kayo. Join the... Is there anybody else here? What do you call this? Uh, Jelly? On my yeah. screen, I can't see anybody else. Eh? Yes, we do have quite a few viewers now, but um, we are adding... Ah, naka- yeah, I think they're naka- disabled. Chloe, can you turn on the video so I can see how beautiful they are, how they are. Is that possible, Chloe? Chloe is our tech person for this afternoon. Chloe, can you turn on their videos? Can you turn Can we access that, Chloe? Um, we'll see. Hi, we cannot open it. Okay, try lang, Chloe. Come on. Uh, I can't open it now. If there's a... Oh, if it's going on, di na raw pwede. Tama ba yun, Chloe? We yeah, can't. I think we can't open their... Okay, what about audio? Though. Yung mga audio nyo ba? Pwede ba yung mga audio? Audio on. Turn on your audio and say magandang hapon, Manong Ari. Or if you look at no, name bag na malum, Manong Ari. Can you guys Able turn din on? daw po, Manong. Hindi rin pwede. Utang na loob. Oh, okay. I, I see somebody here from Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Uh, thank you for that. And magandang hapon din uh, sa'yo. Okay. Despite uh, enough ni Chloe lahat, we have one from, uh, what is this? Oh, from Rachel. From Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Tito Egay! Tito Egay, nice to see you. Uh, nice to see you here. Thank you for joining this afternoon with us. Oh, sige. Ituloy na natin itong uh, usapan natin. So, the title of uh, our talk this afternoon is Mental Health Matters. It's time to talk. Or mga bagay-bagay ng pangkaisipan, pangkalusugan. Napapanahon na, napag-usapan natin to. If not now, when? Of all times, ngayon pa na pandemia. No? We've uh, been living in this uh, bubble of this pandemic for about, I believe, 18, uh, 18 months now. And uh, hindi na, na nagpakaila sa atin, nagkaila sa atin na. A lot of us have been going through uh, anxiety and uh, depression. So let's talk about it. But before we proceed with that, I'd like to talk about perception, or uh, as we call it, yung pananaw. They say we do not see the world as it truly is, but we see the world based on who we are. Let's take this for an example. Uh, most of you guys are probably working. You know? Now, if your perception, kung yung pananaw nyo, is that uh, everybody is bad, masama lahat ng tao, The people that you work with, pag nakita nyo sila, mas yan ang gawin nila, masama. All you see is the negative side uh, of them. For example, a new person comes in, then they go, they smile. Ang ganda ng smile. Hi! Sa isip nyo, ay! Yung ngipin niyan, pustiso lang. Diba? Ay! Nag-friendly siya. Hindi siya friendly, malandi siya. Yun ang nakikita kasi negative yung pag-iisip niya. Pero... If you have a positive mindset and you view the world as everybody is good, let's say in your workplace, when somebody comes in, your tendency is always to say, good work, good job. And even if they make mistakes, you let them know it's okay to make mistakes. We can work on it. Pananaw yon, okay? Another one, this pandemic. If you have a negative mindset of the world, this pandemic has uh, imprisoned us. We can no longer just go out anytime, come home anytime, 
go to the mall, watch a movie, go to the barkada, at masama yung loob nyo. Negative mindset. But there are some people who have thrived during this pandemic. Why? It's because they have a positive mindset. During this pandemic, they have now learned to, they have learned new skills. Personally, I have learned speed reading uh, during this time. There are some people who you know, di ba, naging plantitos and plantitas. Ako naging plantatay. But I was experimenting with, uh, with hydroponics. Um, a lot of people have learned how to cook, bake bread. So for them, they took the opportunity of this pandemic. They didn't look at it as something bad. They looked at it as an opportunity. It has also made a lot of people realize kung ano ba talaga yung totoong importante sa buhay natin. Was it really important to have a dozen set of clothes? To have like, you know, uh, 3,000 pairs of shoes? Uh, in my case, I've been going out when I do go to the mall. I've only been using one gray shirt for the whole time I've been going out. Gray shirt, jeans, loafers. Yun lang. That's it. And I realized we don't need anything else. So that is perception. Perception will determine how you live your life, how you look at things. Perception will also determine the choices that you make in life. Take, for example, is the chat uh, available for them? Chloe, don't tell me pati in chat in the available. Available, Mano. Mamaling. It works. Okay. Take, for example, if you guys could choose any car, okay? Any car that you want, would you choose a car uh, that is made in China or made in Germany? I want to see this in your chat. Let's chat, people. Type in China or Germany. Pakilabas sa mga chat niyo, please. Let's see. Germany, made in Germany, made in Germany. Germany, we have one from China and Germany. Okay, I would believe a majority from what I see right now, made in Germany. Okay, isa pa. If ipupusta nyo yung sweldo nyo, your whole sweldo for one month, would you bet on basketball to, ah? Team USA? Or would you bet on team, uh, let's say, team Ethiopia? Who would you bet on? Whole salary, double or nothing. Chat, Team Ethiopia, Team USA. USA po, magalang, Team USA. Let's go. Come on, we have 50 plus, almost 60 participants. I only see ilan to. USA, whichever po, takar, basta ito, take me to places yung isa, yung kotse, latest. Pero still, Team USA. Oh, it's some Team Ethiopia. Okay. And that's the choice. So mostly it's team A. So the choices. Uh, you were designated to choose a speaker uh, for, your, for your company. And your whole reputation depends on kung uh, gano'ng speaker. Would you choose a speaker who's an introvert or an extrovert? Who would you choose? Remember, your reputation will bank on tong speaker na to, huh? Introvert? Or extrovert? Chat, please. Extrovert, extrovert. Let's see. Extrovert. Ex no, pervert is not included. Okay. <laughs> Introvert. Uh, may extrovert. So, majority is extrovert. Now, itong speaker na, cho, na, na to, would you choose a speaker who is uh, sane? Somebody who is normal? Or somebody who's insane. Somebody has to see a psychiatrist because there's something wrong with him mentally. Somebody has to take medications every day to keep himself going. So would you choose a... Ano, Ari? I think your audio got cut. Yes.
<laughs> Wala pa man ang ari. Ayan. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. There you go. Okay. 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 So let's go back um, again. So let's go back to this. We already have the introverts and extroverts, mostly extroverts. Okay. Uh, would you choose the speaker uh, who is sane, somebody who is normal, somebody who is stable, or would you choose uh, the speaker na insane, yung alam nyo may, may, may tama, and then say yes to see a psychiatrist regularly, and then has to take medicines in order to be normal and function? Who would you choose, sane or insane? Uh, okay, normal or abnormal? So, okay, choose. I see normal, sane, normal, sane. Remember, yung reputation nyo in the company, nakasalalay sa speaker na to. Sumabit yung speaker, sabit ka rin, you're fired! Yes, okay. It says normal, normal, normal. Okay, wait. Pause, can you give me a second? There's something wrong with my power supply. Give me a second, okay? Pause me na pause. Give me a second here. Ayan. Thank you so much, everybody, for participating. No, ayan. Yan yung magagandang na kuha natin from events like this. We are able to talk with each other about these topics. Anyway. Okay. Uh -huh. Somebody goes, say normal, normal. Can you guys see me? Uh, somebody goes, not normal. What? Wait. Okay. Fine. Sige. <laughs> if that's what you want. Okay. Take note. Your choices from the car to the basketball team to a speaker that is normal all depends on your perception of life because you had experiences from the past that has now influenced the way you look at things or you have probably heard about things like alam mo yung mga coaches in germany okay yan mercedes diba the one from china is like this like this bago pa lang yan so again so uh this is perception ngayon ano connection ng perception or pananaw so mental health. A lot of us have a negative perception of mental health because of what we have experienced or what people talk about. Malakas yung stigma ng um, mental health. So when you say the word like psychiatrist or let, let's say, si, alam mo si uh, Jelly nagpati ng psychiatrist. Hindi na, wow! Talaga, ang galing, di ba? No, hindi ganun yung reaction nyo. Ay, it's like, ay, nagpatingin sa ng sa psychiatrist. Or they find out, ay, may mental disorder yan, or may depression yan, or schizophrenic yan. Mm, hindi maganda yung pananaw nyo. So, my goal is this afternoon is to change your perception of mental health. If, it's, if it has been negative, hopefully mag-iba. So yung goal ko itong hapon na to ay palitan yung inyong bananaw, itong uh, hingil sa pangkaisipan, pangkalusugan. Kung masama yung uh, pananaw nyo, sana pag matapos itong usapan natin, maiba sana yung inyong pananaw tungkol sa uh, mental health. Ayan. Maraming salamat naman doon, Manong Ari, for that very uh, interesting preview <laughs> of today's talk. Ayan. So speaking of preview, syempre, bago, bago kan, ay nung in-invite ka namin for this talk, medyo in-stock pa na namin. Medyo, <laughs> we did a little background check at nakita namin in your social media accounts na hindi lang pala ikaw ang advocate ng mental health sa family nyo, but also your whole family, especially your two daughters. So, Sabi mo nga, di ba, uh, ang perception ng tao regarding mental health is not that good in majority. Pero can you tell us kung bakit despite this perception, why did your family still choose mental health as an advocacy? Um, okay, vet, ganito yun. Uh, our family didn't choose uh, mental health as an advocacy. I'd like to think that mental health chose us. Uh, let me explain. Uh, full disclosure, para alam nyo lahat, I, Manong Ari, 
I have a mental health disorder. I was diagnosed over 12 years ago with bipolar disorder. Take note, sinabi ko, I was diagnosed. Hindi ko sinabi, I am bipolar. Why? It's because being bipolar doesn't define the person who I am. I choose to define the person who I am. And for one, I have chosen to define myself as a mental health advocate. I chose not to be a victim of this. I have chose to make having a mental health disorder as an advantage um, for me. So like I said, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder over 12 years ago. Yes, I saw two psychiatrists because I always believe in having a second opinion. And I've been under a cocktail of medications. I take about seven, five to seven medications every day for the last 12 years. And every so often it, um, it changes. So, ano ba tong bipolar disorder na meron si Ari? Okay, bipolar disorder, hindi bisexual to ha? bipolar disorder. The first side, dalawa yan eh. The first side is the manic side. Now, the manic side is when we feel like uh, we're always active. We feel like we're super. We can, apparently we can do anything. We have so much energy. I can go on days, three days without any sleep and still function normally or even above normal. I have a million thoughts running through my mind. And out of those million thoughts, I can probably pick one or two that uh, I can for business. So I use it um, as an advantage. Tendon is also, I'm very talkative. And when we're, when we're talkative, it's not filtered. It's like diary of the mouth. Blah, 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 blah. Dami sinasabi, hindi na filter yun. So the other side of bipolar disorder is the depressive side. This is probably more common sa inyo because of the word depression. In the depressive side, this is when we feel low, when we feel, uh, let's call it um, sadness for now. We have no energy. We don't feel low doing anything we're totally not motivated and uh, our thoughts about ourselves is very negative it so at times it happens that we have thoughts of uh, suicide that happens um, and that is what i have bipolar disorder note there is something wrong with our brains for those of us who suffer from mental health disorder and uh, through this talk, ihahalin tulad ko ang pagkakaroon ng sakit na pag-iisip with other physical disorders like cancer, diabetes, or uh, let's say tuberculosis. Now, there is something wrong with our brains and our brains cannot regulate the secretion of serotonin or dopamine. Ito yung happy hormones. Pag nagbuga to ng madami, woo! Happy tayo! Okay. Pero, pag hindi naman bumuga to, oh, down kami. And we cannot regulate, we cannot control, we cannot control the secretion of these hormones. In the same way, let's say you're diabetic. If you're diabetic and then madaming kinain na chocolate, okay? And then uh, after eating all this chocolate, can you tell your pancreas, Huy, magsikrit ka nga ng insulin kasi madami akong kinain na chocolate? Can you do that? No, you can't. You can't control it. Neither can we, with mental health disorders, control the secretion of serotonin and dopamine. By the way, ako pala yung speaker na hindi nyo pinili. Tinanong ko sa inyo, kung sino pipiliin nyo, speaker na introvert or extrovert? Majority sa inyo, pinili nyo introvert. Most people with mental health disorders, uh, most of you chose extrovert. I happen to be an introvert, and most people with mental health disorders are introverts. Uh, mali kasi yung pananaw niyo tungkol sa mga introvert and extrovert. Kala niyo yung mga introverts, uh, they're shy. Ako yun, eh, shy ako, mahiyain ako. We don't know how to, so, how to socialize, so we don't like public speaking. Pero hindi, 
the major difference between uh, introvert and extroverts are yung extrovert, let's say a long day of work, di ba? Ang dami niyong pinagdaanan, pinahirapan kayo ni Sheila, di ba? All this work. And then afterward, after all this work, you want to relax and recharge. What do you do? Extroverts go out with their friends. They enjoy, di ba? They drink or they go dancing. Oof, 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 oof. They enjoy going out. For an introvert like me, right after this talk, in order to recharge, I will withdraw from my whole family. I will lock myself in the room just to rest, relax, and read a book. That is a difference. I happen to be an introvert. Tinanong ko sa inyo, would you want a speaker who is sane or insane? Normal or abnormal? Uh, certified insane for the last 12 years. And yes, I'm the guy who has to take a cocktail of medications, like I mentioned, every day for the last 12 years. And I also see a psychiatrist regularly in order to keep me this way, being able to do talks. So ano, ano nangyari dito? Nahusgahan nyo based, nahusagan, nahusagan nyo ako based on dalawang label na ipinataw sa akin. Introvert and insane. Kung ako nahusgahan nyo based sa dalawang label na yon. tanongin nyo ngayon ang sarili nyo. Ilan pa kaya ang mga tao na hinusgahan nyo dahil sa mga label na ipinataw nyo sa kanila? Bob, bobo, tanga, uh, mataba, slow learner, may tama, may sayad. If you have judged people quickly, uh, think about it again. Do not be quick to judge. Like I said, people are complex. We are more than just the labels that uh, we are given. I am more than just uh, Manong Ari, the guy with bipolar disorder, or um, let's say this person na tinatawag niyang, let's say Malandi. Again, labels like bakla, tomboy. Don't judge too quickly. People are complicated. Now, the question of uh, Yvette, diba? na hindi lang ako ang uh, mental health advocate. Uh, the ones who are very active also, are my two daughters. The other one is Chelsea. Now, Chelsea has uh, three disorders. That's my second daughter. Chelsea has bipolar disorder. She also has trichotillomania. That is the urge to pull hair. So my daughter, uh, that may bald spot na siya. Kuminsan, lahat ng kilay niya, tinatanggal niya. No? And she also has a histrionic personality disorder where gusto niya a lot of uh, attention. That's my second daughter. My first daughter, Kylie, also has two disorders. She has um, clinical depression, and she was also diagnosed with anxiety disorder. Sino sa inyo nakakakilala sa anak ko, si Kylie Versosa? Kung kilala niyo si Kylie Versosa, oy, nag-raise ng hand. I'm sure lalo si Yvette because you're also for the pageant industry. If you know Kylie, uh, how do you call this? Pakichat. Kylie, Ginga, if you know Kylie Versosa, type Kylie. Yes, I am the father of Kylie. Father International, type Kylie. Oh, some people know her. Anybody else? Somebody put completo pa. Kylie Miss International. Miss International 2016, Kylie Versosa. Ayan. O sige, kung kilala niyo si Kylie, ano yung latest pelikula niya? Ano yung latest pelikula ni Kylie? Plinag din si Kylie eh. Ano yung latest pelikula ni Kylie? Somebody said yes, such a good role model. Oh, Orlando, thank you so much for that. The maid, the housemaid. Anybody else? Yes, that is uh, Kylie, uh, Kylie's latest movie. Currently, she's uh, out filming another movie, but there's another one coming out. Ang tabayana naman oh, support na nyo si Kylie. 149 pesos lang yun para sa Viva Max, di ba? Please. Uh, check her out. So, the three of us, the three of us are very active. Um, the three of us are very active in the mental health advocacy. My wife also is an advocate. No, my wife doesn't have a mental disorder, but 
she she does also talks from the perspective of a caregiver. Paano ba inaalagaan ang asawa na may topa? May mga anak na may pinagdadaanan. By the way, please don't be offended when I use the words like topa, may sayad, may tama. Because for me, these are terms of endearment. Okay, So it's not meant to offend. So, like I mentioned, the three of us are very active in the mental health advocacy. Ngayon, when we talk about it, we're open about what we have. One message, an important message na pinapaabot namin sa mga kinakausap namin ay hindi hadlang na pagkakaroon ng sakit sa pag-iisip para makamit nyo ang inyong mga pangarap at mithiin. Having a mental health disorder should not be an obstacle from you achieving your dreams and aspirations. Like I said, whatever disorder you think you have, whether it's mental, physical, social, hindi dapat hadlang to. You can be who you want to be. And that's an important message na pinapaabot namin. Take Chelsea, for example. Chelsea, three disorders, but she is a successful entrepreneur. She is a uh, certified assessor for TESDA. And she is an active speaker also for mental health. She has spoke in all the major universities in Manila. As a matter of fact, she just had a talk earlier this morning. Uh, I have a disorder, so which I've had for 12 years. But in spite of that, kung nakinig kayo sa intro ko kay Jelly, I own and or manage over a dozen businesses or so and have over 200 employees. Having a disorder didn't stop me. Kylie Versosa, Miss International 2016, artista, mental health advocate, not only that, she is a serial entrepreneur and one of the founders of Property Access and other businesses. And that didn't stop her. So, kung nagawa namin, kayo, magagawa nyo rin. Okay? And that's how our family got into uh, mental health as an advocacy. Wow. That is a very eye-opening na ko. Manong Ari, alam ko, maraming maraming nakarelate sa yung uh, pagsabi ng yung personal story ano ngayon naman uh, because we know what it uh, what it feels like to to be around someone with a mental illness what are the signs and symptoms naman that we can look out for so we know um, whether the people around us or us ourselves are suffering from depression 